Hello and welcome to our third lesson in C++, Building Towards Financial Applications. So we've got this program from lesson two, and let's just give it a quick run. Just click the old button there, there we are. And we've got the outputs there, we've got the principal interest, years of loan, monthly interest and number of months in the loan. Now this is all fine of course, but we do have a big problem, don't we, before we build our amortizing program. And the big problem is this. This is all hard coded. So if you don't want a 30 year loan at 5% for $100,000, you, you can't do anything. So what we need to do now is we need to get some input. If we go up here a little bit, we can see we've got the O stream, output stream. Now let's get into a bit of the I stream. We're going to suck some matter in from another universe through a white hole. And this white hole is called um, CIN or C-I-N or C input. And we're going to take some input from this white hole from another universe, and we're going to uh, we're going to change these values so that we uh, we don't just have fixed values. So let, let's see how we're going to do this. Let's clear this first of all. Right. So we we don't want to have a fixed amount. So we'll set double. Um, we'll set this variable name principal, which isn't a keyword, so we can have it as a variable name. It's a double, so it's a, it's, a, it's a long float. It's a double floating number. It's always a good idea in C++ to um, give a, a kind of default value just to make sure the memory slot is filled with something. There, there could be rubbish in there, and uh, that could cause problems later. So always put something in there, even, even if it's spurious. I mean, you take a loan out for no dollars. Okay, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to ask the person um, how much would you like to take a loan out for? So this time we'll put out a little message, see out, and you can write anything here. You're like, I'll just write something nice and easy. Enter, please enter the principal amount. There we go, a little space. Semicolon at the end, which is the full stop. And then that will print out a little message. Uh, and then C++ will sit and wait at the next line, waiting for this white hole to suck in matter from under the universe. And here's the white hole, C-I-N. Now, did we see any little interesting stuff? Yeah, you can see this is from iStream. This is coming from the I part of I IO stream. So C-I-N, C input. And now we're going to push matter out from this white hole into this value here. So we've got a little bucket there called principal. Into that bucket we're going to pump this matter from another universe that someone's typed in at the keyboard. So this keyboard down here is the other universe. Um, super. Now let's just let's just quickly run that. Um, remember this prints out later. So let's see if I can put an amount in, which will change this principal amount here. Change that. Much we have a twenty-five thousand dollar loan rather than hundred thousand. Let's give. I'm not putting any error checking in here. That that will be for later. But uh, we'll just we'll just trust that the person's entering at a decent amount. So let, let's run, run this. See if I can compile. Oh, expected after expression. What's wrong? There? Oh yes, yeah, sorry, I missed stuff. The. Uh, the the directional things there. So this is going out to, to this black hole into another universe. This is coming out of a white hole into this universe, into this bucket that we've got ready to go. So let's give that a run. Enter the principal amount. Okay, so move your cursor down to here and uh, we'll do say 25,000. 25,000, uh, press return. Ah, brilliant. Now this line here, of course, is coming out here. Principle. Our principle was set there to twenty-five thousand. So you can see it's been output correctly. So that's brilliant. Now we need the other two numbers. So let's uh, let's do those while we're here. Uh, I should do a bit of flakery here. Let's copy this and change the names to protect the innocent. Um, so double interest equals zero point. We don't want five percent to be the default. We want it to be a number in the bucket called interest. Think of this as a bucket with a label on the side called interest. And in the bucket, we're putting something, some air, rather than a vacuum. Because if you leave a vacuum in the bucket, you could have problems. We put some air in there, 
and it might be all right. Uh, this, this message obviously is wrong, so we need to change that to uh, interest. Please enter the interest, not amount, but rate. Interest rate. And we're going to stick that from the white hole into the interest. Oop. There we go. Variable, that's declared here. So we're declaring some a bucket. We're putting some air in the bucket. We're saying, do you what do you want to put in the bucket? And then we're putting this in the bucket. Um, let's do the other one. Let, let's not test this right now. Let's let's do the other one while we're here. And again, we'll uh, we declare the years of loan variable. Set it to a sensible empty value. Don't leave a vacuum in the bucket. Put some air in there, even though it's meaningless. It's better than a vacuum. Uh, years of loan. Um, enter the years of loan. And then that needs to be output into the bucket with the years of loan label slapped on the side. See, it's popped up there. That's great. Saved me a bit of typing. Fantastic. Right. Hopefully that's all right. If there's any mistakes, we'll we'll fix them. Um, give it a run. Oh, lovely. Right. Enter the principal amount. 25,000. Enter the interest rate. Now, l later on, what we can do in the next video, what we'll do is we'll put 5 and then that will work it out to be 0 0.05. But at the moment, we haven't got that much sophistication. So we're going to have to put in 0 0.05. Enter the years of the loan. Ooh, short loan, 10 years. Let's see what happens. There we go, look. Let's raise this up a little bit. So enter the principal amount, 25,000. That's popped out. Let's get the right bit of code. That should pop out here. That's popped out there. We've put in, oh, I'll put 5% in. That's a bit boring, isn't it? Same as the other one. Uh, let's just run it again, just to, to prove that we're not hard coding. Principal amount, um, 37,500. Enter the interest rate, oh, 17%, 0 0.17. Enter the years of the loan, ooh, 13, there we are. And then we can see principal is 37,500. Uh, the interest is coming in here, I put 17%. And that's coming out there, which is here, and then the years of the loan is 13, the other one's not zero, notice, and that's coming out here, and 13 times 12 is 156 months. Um, superb, I think we're done, I think that's enough there, so we've got some input coming into our program in the next video, we'll, uh, we'll start playing around with comments and functions. Thank you, and good night.